In this video, we're taking heavyweight champion Fabio Wale through his speed and power workout for boxing. He is about five weeks out from his fight now, and we're working on a range of dynamic and explosive exercises that helps increase punch power. Let's go check out the workout. Band of centiweighted jumps. Band of jump, you want to be in about 50% of your maximum jump height, about 22, 25 centimeters. Going for banded ice skaters, pulling you into one to increase the horizontal forces for you to then challenge this to drive back out of it. And drive, good, that's it. Yeah, but that has to be smooth, yeah, yeah. So you're not holding it. So normally when we do banded variations, it's just to overload that horizontal movement for you to then control. Now we're transferring that into a boom and driving out, yeah? Drive, good, well done. Nice, a little bit faster. Yeah, good. Med ball, baseball pitch. So it's like a med ball punch throw, but I want you to go really load up that rear leg. Knee comes up and follow all the way through. The challenge is, is to knock that off the wall. So you go from one leg to the other, really load up that rear leg, that knee comes up, and I want you to boom, overcommit to it. So normally on med ball punch throws, I want you to be in that technical position. I'm just wanting brute force. Commit all your body into it. Knee up. Oh. Yes. Look how good that we're working. In against the wall, bouncing back, going through your legs. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Don't let your body fold over. Better. Don't mind that end technique. I just want brute force, man. Good. It's all or nothing. It's double or quits. Come on, Fabio. Oh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Set that back. <laughs> Two, one. Let's go, Fabio. Drive, 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 drive. Whoa! You're not heavy enough, man. You need to... <laughs> He's a big, strong man. <laughs> Lee! <laughs> it's moved slightly. <laughs> You're actually lifting up the full, full f***ing gym. We might have to get Lee. Honestly, I was sat on there and he, he lifted me up. Down. Right, you looking at the numbers? Size patty on there. Three, two, one. Let's go. Three, two, one. Good. Go, 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 go. Yes. So what we're doing there, overcoming isometrics, where we're trying to put as much force into the movable objects. Quarterback have pins where you can just drive up against it, or sometimes you have to put a lot of weight on the bar where it can't be moved. We've absolutely maxed out the bar. Put me and Ben on either side, and Fabio was still strong enough to be able to move it, so we had to get reinforcements, get Lee in. It was a three-man job to keep the bar down, so incredible strength there for his isometric training. Dip and drive. Good. 31.7. Keep chest up, shoulders back. Yeah, good. Good. A few minutes rest, and then we'll go again. Two, one, yes. What was that? 204. I can't see it, mate. Go, drive, 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 drive. Yes. 32.1. Yes. 32.6. Well done, mate. I'll keep me 20 quid in my pocket. Maximum force. Three, two, one. Yeah, good. Try and move this bar then. <laughs> Lower back against the floor. Drive, 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 drive. Yeah, good. 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 Yeah. Prone rows, pulled up, squeeze them shoulder blades back, but instead of like lowering down, I want you to almost like... Drive, 
drive, drive, drive, drive, drive, drive, drive. Good. Come on. Yeah, good. Let's go. Three, two, one. Good. 44.3. Go. Three, two, one. Good. 45.9. Basically catch it. Overloading that eccentric there. Rotate it all the way through. Yes, love it. Jab it in. Yes. Love it. Jab it in. Three, two, one. Fantastic. 60.6. So that's the end of the workout. As you've seen there, we're using complex training. This is a fantastic tool to increase speed and power, whilst also retaining strength that's been increased in the previous camps. The reason why complex training works, it works on a phenomenon called post activation potentiation. If you're wanting to find out more about this, go and check out this video here to find out more about the science behind it and how we can use it in practical ways to help elevate speed and power for boxing. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon on the next video of Boxing Science.